Actually, it was my wife's uh, prodding. So I was, uh, I was participating a bit, but I was not that uh, that interested. And in 2012, my uh, wife uh, introduced me to it, and she was saying there is something new going on, and uh, the, the topics of diversified. So they, then I started, and the first one month, uh, some of the answers gone viral. So then that got hooked, and then uh, the next four years I've been writing for it. One thing I, I, I like to do is connect the dots. I don't see these uh, artificial silos uh, like you know economics, um, finance, religion, history. I don't see these artificial silos as very very relevant. So I see these the, these as something that could be analyzed, something that could be connected. We will never be corruption free. Corruption free, uh, it's like saying uh, there won't be any crimes in the world. It, it, will, it will never be possible. But what we can do is stop the good people from being corrupt. Bad people will be corrupt. You cannot change, uh, you cannot change that. But what happens in India is even the good guys uh, are, are, are being corrupt. And, and, and that is a problem not for the person because they will be good in all the other things. They won't be committing other crimes. They won't be like murdering. They won't be doing all those things. But still they will not hesitate uh, twice before giving 200 rupees as a, as a bribe. So that means the problem is not with them. The problem is with the, the structure around them. It requires a change in um, a change in the system. The deepness it's not in the person. So the, the same person you take uh, outside, take him outside of India. So this person will will not bribe in other countries. And work. so the, the person is the same. It's just the environment change. So the, the deepness it's, it's in the system. So the it, it's the systems we we need to uh, we need to change. One of the primary problems that is happening is our education system is itself is very outdated. That's because we are dealing with an industrial revolution based system that was, that was built around you know mass education. So you will learn something for three years and you will implement that for like 30, 40 years. And that's what is, uh, is, is changing now. We are not going to be doing the same thing. So our, our education system should be focusing much more on opening the mind, changing the mind. But that doesn't require like you know four years or five years of you know intense learning at one place. We have to be constantly doing stuff, learning stuff. Wherever smart people are, startups uh, uh, form around it. So the, the biggest thing that is needed for a startup is having smart people and having tolerant and accepting culture. So these are the two important things. So like IITs, uh, traditionally they have been uh, accepting the most smartest minds in India. So so it, has, it qualifies for the first. I'm not as sure about the second, how much tolerant and accepting it is of other ideas. We have a long way to go in, in that, like accepting people of all kinds, ideas of all kinds. So once we get there, once we start accepting that, then then uh, IITs become this huge uh, hubs around which uh, startups come. I watch a lot of um, uh, history documentaries and then I also work, uh, read uh, history fiction. Most importantly, there was one good teacher in my 8th, uh, 9th, 10th. She was so passionate about teaching history. She would make history like something like, you know, something real, something like, you know, we can feel and touch. I'm a, a big road tripping junkie, so I, I travel extremely uh, lot. So.